Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Beer Geek Nation. I'm your host, Chris. Thank you for joining me once again. Holy dog crap, guys. Am I excited about this review? If you guys have been watching this show for any time now, you guys will know my favorite beer on planet Earth is the Maharaja from Aver Brewing. And guess what we're reviewing tonight? We are reviewing the newest batch, Batch 13. Came out in March 2011, comes in at 10.54%, a little bit higher than it was last year. I believe it came in 10.3%, somewhere in there. 102 IBUs, so it's just a huge, massive, sticky, resinous Imperial IPA. They changed the label, they changed the color on the foil, they gave them a facelift, looking better than ever. I am freaking psyched about this beer can't wait to get into it does it live up to the expectations that i have for it being the best beer on planet earth let's see what this batch does for me guys let me get into a glass let you know it smells taste and give you the freaking verdict on avery's the maharaja all right so the appearance on this beast um it's a dark golden orange really really clear nice clean beer there's that off-white, kind of khaki-colored head. There was about a fingers and a half, almost two fingers for the head on there. Um, nice alcohol feet on the glass. Really, really nice head lacing. Really good amount of carbonation. You can see in the video, there's like pockets of carbonation kind of developing. Just an absolutely amazing looking Imperial IPA. All right, so the aroma on the Maharaja, which has always been a highlight for me in this beer. Ah, oh, so good. Just as good as I remember it. Um, it's just the perfect combination of a West Coast beer and a mid middle of the country beer. Big, big, sweet, sweet, super sweet grapefruit notes in there. Like grapefruit with sprinkled sugar on it. You're getting that pininess, um, that really that dry hop kind of resinous character in there. And then at the same time, you're getting peaches and apricots really ripe pineapple there's an astringency in there that kind of just punches you around in the face but you're also getting bready notes and it's a sweet breadiness that blends really really nicely with the with the pininess and kind of the west coast aspects of the beer to kind of bring it all into balance i'm not getting any alcohol whatsoever 10.54 4 percent you would think you would get some of that none whatsoever it's just an extremely extremely well balanced smelling beer <coughs> All right, guys, the taste on the 2011 Batch 13 Maharaja. Holy crap, I'm looking forward to this. Ah, it's so good, so good. First impressions, right out of the gate, is just a huge kick in the face, load of bitterness right on the front of the tongue. But as soon as it starts to become almost overwhelming, middle of the tongue, you're getting the sweet characters from the hops, those tropical fruits. You know, the peach, the mango, the apricot really, really helps balance with the just extreme bitterness um, and the initial taste. And then the caramel, the toffee characters, the big bready notes start to take over and start to kind of mingle in there with the bitterness and the sweetness, really, really helping balance things out. There is definitely some alcohol taste to it, some of that, some of that phenol burn in there, um, but it's not as bad as say a, a hop slam or anything like that. It's very, very well balanced. Really helps to clean the palate. This is an absolutely gigantic palate killer of a beer, and that carbonation really helps to move things along, keep the mouth, keep the palate fresh. It's just an amazingly well balanced beer. One of the best Imperial IPAs on the planet. Still a perfect example, and it's extremely underrated, and I can't say enough great things about it. Just an absolutely amazing tasting beer. All right, guys, so the final verdict, the end of the day, here we are once again meeting up with Mr. Maharaj. This is the third time I've reviewed this beer. Each time, it's just the exact same experience for me. It's just a mind-blowing Imperial IPA. This one is getting an A+, the highest of A-pluses. This is probably my favorite beer on the planet. I'm putting that out there. You know, Hop Slam, Planet of the Elder, step aside, man. The Maharaja is here, coming through. It's just extremely well-balanced. They don't use any hop extract at all on this. It's all real hops. 
really really nice malt body on this one lots of mouth feel very little alcohol taste to it and the alcohol taste that is there it's just helped to clean the cleans cleanse the palate big big just boot in the face um, hop flavors in this one gigantic bitterness right in the front sweet hops kind of come through the peach mango tropical fruits to blend with that bitterness nice malt caramel toffee really really helps to tie everything together just a really well balanced beer for being 10.54 percent this is the style you know an imperial ipa shouldn't be balanced and something like this is just mind-blowing that it is once again guys make sure you pick yourself up a bottle of this if you can get avery stuff I highly recommend it. I think this is one of the most underrated beers on the planet, and I don't know why. It's a fantastic beer. Make sure, though, that it's got this label with a gold foil, and it's batch 13. It says it right down in the corner there. Um, you don't want to get an old batch. Sometimes these bottles tend to stick around on store shelves. and This bottle does hold up, actually. If it's refrigerated, it'll hold up a couple months, but... Anything after that, do yourself a favor, get a fresh bottle. It is a mind-numbing experience, just outstanding stuff, and I can't speak of it highly enough, to tell you the truth. Putting that out there, favorite beer on the planet, right here, you guys, right here. Avery's Maharaja, 10.5.4%, limited release. Get it while you can. It'll be around for a couple more months. Get it while you can. Remember, guys, life's too short. Drink amazing beers. Cheers. <clears throat> so good.